I, I've actually born and raised here. I've spent my entire life on this place with the exception of four years at university. So it's dear to my heart. Uh, we farm uh, about uh, 300 acres. We, uh, we raise uh, pigs, fair to finish, about 180 sows. So that's our operation. And uh, yeah, hopefully it sticks around in the family for years to come. I think in this day and age, we're, we're, we're being reminded constantly on how soil health and, and uh, ma maintaining our, yeah, our soil really. Um, it's so important and I think we maybe have been uh, a little, not, not misled, but we've been over the years we've been really encouraged just to be really productive and I think we have to take a step back and say, you know what, um, for the longevity of, of uh, agriculture and for society really, we have to take care of uh, what we got. And so uh, Buffer provides some, uh, some wind protection certainly for maybe arable land around it. Uh, Water courses that are running through are more protected because it's just, you're not farming right next to it. So that's a big advantage. Uh, the buffer that we chose to do at that time, um, we had a parcel of land kind of adjacent to an open, open ditch and it wasn't straight. And so we were always kind of farming in a few little corners and it was awkward and, and yeah, it just, it just didn't really feel very productive, that area of land. And so we thought, hey, we'll square the field off and we'll make a little, a nice little area. Uh, at the time when I, when I spoke to John, he suggested just to um, have it tilled up and make it as kind of level as you could. And he strongly suggested a, uh, a clover catch, a good clover catch to start. Well, I was given the choice of wh what I wanted to plant. And so I thought I might as well mix it up as much as possible. My kind of my attempt was to make a kind of a mixed, a mixed array of different, different types of trees, right? So eventually it would look kind of like a, like a forest, right? But the hardwoods had a hard time establishing because it was a really dry season when they went in and uh, it was a challenge to just to keep enough moisture. We, uh, we hand watered them for the first, I think the first two summers. Uh, when we signed up with it, we were given a choice to have an extra year of kind of management from Upper Thames. And so uh, you guys came in and sprayed it an additional time, like the subsequently, so two years in a row, it was kind of, uh, the herbicide was put on to kind of keep it clean over the rows. We had an opportunity to uh, work with a, a neighbor to put a windbreak um, between, so the, on the western side of our farm, which I thought was pretty advantageous for us, being as most of the winds are prevailing from the west anyway. And so he, he was uh, happy to oblige. So we put a, a row of cedars in there. Um, and it's just really apparent how even after, um, I think they've been in for about seven years now, just having that maybe an eight foot tree provides a lot of wind protection quite a ways uh, out into the field. 